Early Saturday morning, Carrie and I are out setting the last of the nuke yards. We have three to do this morning. Combines are just about to start running, so we got to finish up this work so I can get out to the field and then Carrie can finish up some work around the honey farm later on. So these are the nukes that we made up. We run out of nuke boxes and so we tapped into that old box pile in the back of the honey yard and just kept filling boxes full of bees and dropping cells. This nuke yard, we had pulled a box of, you know, canola, clover honey off the, in the middle of the summer, put a box back, and right beside a sunflower field that is over there, this is one of our pastures. And I should have maybe had two boxes here. Oop, that hurt. Maybe should have had two boxes on because these girls have plugged the one box right full of sunflower honey and then pushed it down into that brood nest. So I was a little bit concerned that maybe I honey bound that nest a little bit. So we were digging down and no, there's lots of honey down there. It's nicely rimmed, but I just want to show you what's going on down here. We have a very nicely well-defined brood nest and there is available space for the queen. So that's telling me that the queen's not in a panic for space. And you're not going to be able to see this. Where is she? Ah, she's a little, she's my favorite, a little kind of fuzzy blacky. And on the other side of the frame, you're not going to be able to see this, but it is chock full of eggs. We are just about September. She is still laying eggs. And I'm looking at those eggs being taken into that larval state. So these bees are still primed to build a nest. That's September bees. We're gonna, those bees will emerge you know, the last part of September. This is going to be a terrific winter nest. These are going to be young bees going into winter. These bees that emerge into September will likely be the ones that show up in April to help contribute to that springtime nest. So we're quite excited. I'm complaining about maybe this box being too full. I should have had two on there, but other yards I had two, they've put, they put the same amount of honey between the two boxes. So I think I got it right. It's just, you don't know, right? No, I should have had another one on there. I'm always saying that. <clears throat> An old beekeeper told me one time, when you look at a honey box and you think it's full, it, it'll probably hold 10 more pounds of honey. And it definitely fit that extra 10 pounds of honey in there. So they have lots of reserves down the bottom here. They're not starving. We can set these boards without any concern of, you know, starvation state. These are nukes, so they're not as big as my production hives. And uh, we'll strip off this honey and then give them a little bit of feed uh, around that Labor Day just to prime them a bit and then just slap it on them as we venture further into September to bulk them up for winter. So we're providing some of the off the shelf because I ran out of mine. Just giving a little more as a supplement. I don't know if I really need to though, because look at that gold on the legs. That's the reason why they are brooding right now. Because they have such a strong pollen and nectar. Not a, a heavy one, but just a trickle. And lots of pollen coming in. So all the ingredients are there to keep brooding. So I'm probably just wasting my time and money with these patties, but these patties will provide a little bulk nutrients if they need it these bees are telling me they don't need it. So this is early morning, like we're before 8 o'clock here, and they've already collected loads of pollen coming in. The truck's kind of disorientated the bees in the yard. So they don't really know where they are, they're just kind of waiting until we leave to be able to find their way back. Just capitalize on all that natural stuff.
This time, I'm caught up to the trucker. There he is over there. Combines are, I got a little bit of time there. That semi's full. So I can play with my bees a little bit here while I wait for the trucker to come. These hives are quite busy. They're bringing in pollen from somewhere. They're in a pretty good mood too. I guess they know the pressure's off and they have feed. Just a matter of setting themselves up now. We have the last of the nuke yard set so we'll be able to pull off the last of the honey boxes on Monday. And then we should be able to get through, well maybe not quite. We'll have another semi load pulled out of the comb uh, next week and it should just leave a few days of extraction for Carrie and I to clean up. So that works out just about perfect. There he is. Better get back to work. Here's a wet spot. Machinery can travel. I didn't know about this little wet spot. What a waste. Look at that. Think of how many flowers could be growing on that. Contributing to the nutrition of my beehives. I have one, two, three yards where I touch this. Why does it matter? It's the supplement that I'm feeding. We need like it's it's no good unless we have whatever is in pollen, that missing nutrient, that factor X. And if we have just a little bit of, of that pollen, then these uh, patties that we're feeding just become that much more responsive and useful. But without that pollen, then these patties just become the fill-in between the pollen flows. But if we can have a little bit of that natural pollen coming in, not very much, it doesn't take much, it's a little bit. Just whatever they need, that factor X, just to fill in that missing nutrient, that deficiency. If we can have that, if we can grow that, then we can make use of all the supplement we put into those colonies. And the bees can then take it and convert it into bees to build a nice big healthy nest. So that's my strategy. I'm supplying him with the bulk of nutrients and fats and vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff. And then I'm growing that unknown nutrient that we don't know what it is. So I'm growing that so there's availability of it all across my farm, as many places I can find it. We're promoting places to you know, grow those natural flowers to provide that natural pollen all over the apiary just to provide that nutrient. That's the whole point. That's what my strategy is. That's what I'm trying to do. Not trying to replace what's going on here in the fields. Just around the edges, just places where I can capture, you know, little places I can claim from here and there. Not all the time, just whenever I get a chance, right? Just gonna set up a strategy to be able to utilize all that. Just little efforts all around the edges, that's what I'm all about. And all those little efforts contribute into something big, something that will provide, you know, our bees with benefit. Another one of my little pollinator plots. Look at this one. These sunflowers are just magnificent. But I'm not seeing too much phacelia in here. I had a really good catch of oats, so here's some. It's a little bit of blue. Not as good a catch of phacelia. Maybe they got choked out. Oh, it's just coming, that's why. Just coming. Look at these sunflowers. Are they ever spectacular? You can see these sunflowers for a half mile away. Sure adds a wow factor to this whole plot. Look at the bees just going crazy in there. This 
is a little bigger of a patch. This corner again, we couldn't travel because it's too wet. Typically we farm this, but we have flowers all through here. And that's our bumper crop of oats. And they're just about done bloom. Dad's determined he's gonna come back here at the combine and take these sunflowers. He might as well, as long as they make it. Look at the bees in there. I'm looking for the lacy facile and there's not a lot in here. I'm kind of disappointed with the catch in that. A little bit of canola. And that's passed. Either I ran out of seed or I didn't. Uh, here's some. Maybe it just got choked out. A little bit of an open spot here. And I'm seeing more here. Maybe I put too much oats down. Because there is a lot of oats. There's a lot of flour left in that. So mark this one up as a success. Tremendous growth. If I better get back to my job or I'm gonna catch hell. I imagine that radio is pretty hot right now. Cause they are just about full again. I gotta get going here. <laughs>